So I am pretty excited about the idea of an automated scoreboard, and I hope it will make the job of being a race organizer easier. And it will also, if we all use similar forms, there will still be room for some customization, uh, make it easier for me to collect data at the end of the year. So here's how it works. This is from last year, the Thargoid Structure Scramble. This is essentially the output sheet. Um, and this is you put in the Google form. I, I think I may have moved a few things here, but it's basically the same. And so what happens is you've got this output sheet and then say you go verify a run. Once you verify a run and you're like, this is a valid entry, you go to the verified column and you type yes, and you hit enter. Then what this scoreboard over here does is it's looking at each row and it's saying, okay, is this verified? If it's not verified, it doesn't do anything. So the scoreboard only updates when you verify runs. So you type yes, it's like, okay, next I'm gonna look at and see, is this a regulation class? Because this is the regulation scoreboard, the unlimited scoreboard will do that differently. Since this is a regulation class, it puts it in and it says, I'm gonna grab column C and I'm going to grab column G, and I'm going to grab column, shoot, it's past there, but like column N, and I'm going to grab the adjusted time, okay? And I'm going to stick it in there. Cool. So what happens when we type yes in the next row? It doesn't show up. Why? Because this is an unlimited run. Okay, cool. What happens when we type yes in the next row? Oh, now we get Commander Sulu. So what it's doing is it's saying, aha, I see this is a verified run and I see it is in the regulation Cobra. So I'm going to stick it in here and then it's going to put in Commander Sulu. It's going to grab its ship name. It's going to grab high predictions and it's going to sort by adjusted time. So because it's sorting by adjusted time, you get an automatically sorting scoreboard. So You can do this and you can have, you can see the scoreboard like updates just as you're verifying runs and you don't need to resort stuff. Now, there are a couple issues I still have to sort out. One that I think will have to be manual is just going to be um, people need to spell their names right. If they don't though, it's not actually a hard fix because say for example, um, we had Reiko spell his name wrong over here with two O's, Reiko. Um, oh, that was an unlimited run. So let's find, oh, come on. Here's Reiko's regulation on Reiko. Uh, you're just going to need to go over here and you will modify the entry. I don't like doing that, but that's the way to clean it up is just make sure the names are spelled right here. If you end up with a double name, we didn't have terribly many double names last year. Um, the other thing, and I will work on this is how to handle ties and stuff like that, but that's all kind of like gravy on the cake. This is a proof of concept. It shows that we can have an automatically updated scoreboard. And now instead of sorting entries and having to copy stuff over and manually do stuff, all the race organizer needs to do is verify runs and type yes. Then of course they maybe want to customize the scoreboard or underlay an image, but they can skip all of the sorting and copying stuff over and stuff like that, which I think takes a decent amount of time. Now I hear you say, but what if, what if I want to highlight uh, the names of just like the people that placed since yesterday, like we typically do. I'm pretty sure I can have some conditional formatting doing that. So that's on the list to do. So to do, to do. What if, imagine if the to do was in black text so we could read it. Now I'm cursed. Okay, whatever. We've got a giant array here. Just ignore that. Um, Apparently my keyboard is just not right, Doc. Seriously? What is wrong with my keyboard? Is it stuck somewhere? <laughs> my keyboard isn't working at all. Okay. Well, I will fix that later. On the to-do list is handling ties um, and handling new entries. So it'll you, essentially, you will have to do it manually. What you'll do is over here, there will be another column like 
was this on the scoreboard already? And you mark that column and that will modify it so that it doesn't have like a, a bolding or a white thing or whatever. So we'll be able to do that. Um, will we be able to do stuff like Alec likes to do where you have H, H, M, M, S, S and separate columns for all of those? Yes, that is very doable. Um, what about bonuses? I'm still working on bonuses for now. You're just going to need to make sure that the adjusted time is correct during the run. I think the rest of it may be fixable later, but I think this is a good first implementation that only took like a, uh, I would say hour and a half to mock up. So, uh, hopefully that will be helpful to people this year. Let me know if you have any thoughts, ideas, suggestions, uh, feedback is cool.